For the families of the officers killed in the line of duty, the pain cruelly endures, seldom blunted by the passage of time. We're now approaching the 20th anniversary of the shooting death of Toronto Police Constable Todd Bayliss. His family knows all too well that the scars are permanent. Avery Haynes spoke with his father tonight. Let's get back. For most of us, these images bring back hazy memories of a Toronto tragedy. Six, six, six. June 16, 1994. Two Toronto officers gunned down in the stairway of a Trithui housing project. Constable Mike Leone takes a bullet to the shoulder. He survives. His partner, Constable Todd Bayliss, is shot in the temple. Let us thank God today for a young police officer named Todd Edward Bayliss. And we shall miss him oh so dearly and so deeply. The whole big piece of my life is just gone, and it's uh, it's horrible. His golden son, 25 years old, had just four years earlier followed in his father's footsteps to become a Toronto police officer. Father and son. <laughs> the Bayless family are now veterans of a tragic club that, with the shattering events in Moncton, has now grown even larger. I going through what I went through, I know what their families are going through. I would never want anybody to experience that. The years go by and the decades go by and now it's 20 years. It's hard to believe. And you know what? I've thought about them every freaking day for 20 years. Every day. More than 100 kilometers away from the streets that stole their son, Ted and Sharon Bayliss live a quiet life in an idyllic small town. I became a different person. I just kind of, maybe it was coming up here, made me just kind of calm down because I've been, like I've been an angry guy ever since the day Todd died. They have now lived almost as long without their son as they did with him. <laughs> It was this month, 20 years ago, that Todd Bayliss was gunned down at the age of 25. This man's broken heart can't heal. He is consumed by an unlikely emotion, guilt. You'd think after all these years, but it, it, it still eats at me. Ted, a cop himself, was in Florida with both his sons in June of 1994. Todd left early to return to Toronto and the shift that ended his life. He wasn't going to go back that night. He was going to stay in Florida. He was going to stay. I told him to go. I, I, I do feel guilty. I do. I'm going to feel that for the rest of my life because I'm the stupid guy that said to go. You know, if I'd have just stuck the way it was, Todd would be alive today. Todd Bayliss should be 45 years old. Not the name of a street, not a name on a wall. I just wish you could have met him. He could light up a room. And it's, uh, yeah, it's too bad. There will be a small ceremony here later this month to mark his death. His father, 20 years later, still can't bring himself to say a final goodbye. I've never buried Todd. So he's in an urn. I know I should do it, but it's like the last piece I have of him. I know he's gone, but I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. Now, the Bayless family says tragedies like Moncton twist the knife of the grief that has never left them since the day their son was murdered. Dad Ted can't blame himself. He believed his son should have done his duty, he wanted him to report into work as was expected of him. And, you know, but no one could have foreseen, of course, what happened. No, and I think that's the, this, the terrible thing about grief is that you just, you, yeah. you know, he's struck with emotions of guilt that are totally obviously not, not anything that he should be Always feeling. asking why or what should I have done. That's right. Yep. Uh, Twitter is how you can reach me. I am at City Avery. The Inside Story runs every Tuesday and Thursday on City News. All segments up on our website, citynews.ca.